Hi guys, Jason Bodine coming at you once again from Gaston, Alabama. Welcome back to the channel. Several days ago, coincidentally, just ahead of the one year anniversary of the premiere of Jensen Ackles' Supernatural prequel series, The Winchesters, I reposted a link to a video I made about seven months ago detailing all the similarities between the series and the plot of my Supernatural reboot script, the Villa Retcon that I sent to Mr. Ackles and his two co-stars, Jared Padalecki and Misha Collins, two years ago, and wondering because of those similarities whether the script had been read and inspired the Winchesters in any way. I shared the link on both Facebook and Twitter slash The X, uh, not noting in my post the irony given the Supernatural cast staunch support of the WGA slash sag strike and what it was all about, that I still didn't have answers to my questions after all this time, and asking fans to either ask him on my behalf, or else send me some reliable contact info so I can ask him myself. The post got very different responses on the two social media platforms. On Twitter slash X, lots of people viewed the post and some clicked on the link to watch the old video, but nobody so far has said much of anything. On Facebook, the post was largely ignored with the sole exception of one person who only responded to make fun of my channel, insult my intelligence, and spark a huge argument. Long story short, this person, a woman who not only isn't a Supernatural fan and has no idea of the connectedness between the show's fans with each other and the cast or the power of the fandom to get things done, but also by her own admission has never watched a single episode of either show, let alone watched any of my videos or read a single story I ever wrote first made fun of the fact that my channel currently has just 75 subscribers, and then proceeded to tell me that I should accept they never read fan-written scripts, and similarities don't matter because all, found fix, all fanfic sounds alike due to coming from the same source material as definitive answers. I responded by reminding her that the open submissions policy of another show, Xena Warrior Princess, proved her first statement false, and then pointed out that her second statement was false because it's a plot formula, not source material, that determines how similar or different two stories sound. And thus, similarities are important. I went on to inform her that I deliberately avoided the quote-unquote fix-it-fit formula virtually every other writer used of ignoring the events of the finale of Supernatural and writing a more satisfying ending in favor of using the formula of using the original ending as a starting point for my story and using it as a springboard to bring the characters back for more adventures. And it was the fact that the Winchesters was the only story to come out of the ending of Supernatural to use a plot formula similar to mine that made me sit up and notice all the similarities and start asking questions. She hasn't responded to this so far, but past history tells me this isn't over. So, as a writer and a Supernatural and the Winchesters fan, I have a question for all of my fellow writers and fans out there. Am I wrong here for wondering if someone in that writer's room read my script and used it as an inspiration for the Winchesters based on all the similarities and wanting my curiosity satisfied? Let me know in the comments. That's about it for this video. Please be sure to hit the like button if you liked this video and hit subscribe to support this channel and help it grow. 
Until next time, guys. Peace.